Hello beautiful people, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with y'all all the different things that you will be needing during your time on the ward. I know it's early, I know we're still at home, secondary to COVID, but we'll be back on the ward soon and I just want y'all to be prepared. Some of these things actually you will need to be planning to get in advance. You might need to save some money for one or two of them, but don't worry. Everything is going to be listed down in the description box. So you can just click that link, put them in your cart, and then when you're ready, just go ahead and purchase them so you could be ready for when we get back on the ward. If you are new to my channel, a special welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Adun Olurin, and I'm a fourth year medical student studying at the University of the West Indies. But without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Now this first thing is an absolute must. You do not want to get caught on call or just in a long day in general without these Crocs. <laughs> and not just, you know, the Crocs that you wear at the food store. These are good to have um, on the board also, just to have in case you have to go into OT or something. But I'm talking about these. I am talking about the ugly ballet flat crocs. I mean, these ugly too, <laughs> but these are not the cutest. They might be ugly, <laughs> but they are extremely comfortable. As you can see, they're just like the simplest made shoes ever. You got some holes so your feet could breathe. And the base of this is just rubber. It is so soft but it still gives you support in my opinion for you know those long ward rounds and just long days in general. So you wanna get a pair of these, I'm not gonna lie. Number two on the list is a pair of scrubs. You might actually wanna get a few pairs of scrubs depending on what firm you're on or what rotation you're on. If you're on surgery rotation, most likely you will be needing to wear your scrubs pretty often, maybe once, twice, maybe even three times a week. So you might wanna get a few pairs of scrubs, give yourself time to wash them and rotate them. So the third thing on my list is of course a stethoscope. The sets I own is the 3M Litman Classic 3. It looks like this. I ordered this from Amazon and I was able to customize it right within Amazon. And I chose the raspberry tubing and the gold and rainbow finishes. Now there are a few other tools that you will be needing for your physical exams other than your stethoscope. One of them would be a diagnostic set. Now personally, I have never purchased my diagnostic set because I just could not come to grips with the price. So for a good Welch Allen diagnostic set with your ophthalmoscope and your otoscope in there, it can run you to about 600 US dollars. Now for me, I felt that $600 was too much for an ophthalmoscope and otoscope, even though really this thing is gonna last you for the rest of your life. I just have not come around to purchasing one as yet. When I know I have an exam coming up, I just borrow it from a friend who is in another group than I am, and that usually works out quite fine for me. But please, if you have the $600 and you wanna make an investment, you wanna buy something that is gonna last you for your entire medical career, then go ahead and pick up a good quality diagnostic set. So there are still more things that you will need to examine a patient fully and just some other things that you will be needing on the ward. Smaller things that I think you can, you know, just pick up and make sure you have. So one of those things that you will be needing is a patella hammer. And this is what a patella hammer looks like. It's pretty long and it has this rubber part at the end. It's kind of heavy, it's weighted and rubber and then at this end it is pointy, it comes to a pointed end and of course you'll be needing this for your physical exams, testing those you know tendon reflexes and so on so you definitely want to get a patella hammer. Another thing you'll be needing is measuring tape and I actually got these in a pack of I think three in different colors. It's just a standard measuring tape 
You most likely need this on the ward to measure lesions or lacerations, lumps and bumps, things of that nature. So another thing you might be needing on the ward is a pen light. So this is what my pen lights look like. So I have the colors pink and white. I got these off of Amazon as well. Everything will be linked down in the description box. So what a pen light is, is just a light that looks like a pen. So you could stick it in your coat and you know, have it when you need it on the ward. Okay, so I don't know if you can see the light. Ooh, yeah, you can. <laughs> and basically that is exactly what you would do to your patient. Ch -ch 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 check for that, you know, reflex in the eyes and that is what you'll be needing your pen lights for. So another thing that you would need that seems kind of strange, I didn't get it at first, um, but you definitely need these, are tuning forks. This is what they look like. <laughs> these are just things that induce vibrations at different frequencies and you use these during your sensory physical exam as well. So the set that I have is the set that comes with C, 128, C256, and C512. So this is what tuning forks look like, and I was able to get this entire set on Amazon for $9, so it's not bad to pick these up for sure. So another thing that you will need is a Snellens chart, and a Snellens chart is that chart that you would see at the eye doctor. It looks like this. So I have a standalone Snellen chart. I don't know <laughs> where it is right now. Don't be like me, don't misplace your things because all of these things you can use for a very long time. And at the end of this, you'll see that everything does add up. So you wanna take care of everything and you know, not misplace anything. But my Snellen chart is attached to my Maxwell Quick Reference. And since I am showing it now, I may as well tell you guys what this um, Maxwell Reference is about. So so the Maxwell Quick Medical Reference, I stumbled upon this on Amazon as I was getting all of my supplies for clinicals when I was about to start. And you know when you get that message, people are also buying this. <laughs> this was one of those things, so I decided to just pick it up. So I would not go one day on the ward without someone asking me about this or needing to borrow it or needing to look inside it for something. And that is because this book really has everything that someone who is new on the ward should know. So the sections in the book are color-coded like this. So you usually know what you're going to be flipping to when you need to just quickly look for something on the ward. But what I used this for a lot when I was first starting out on the ward was the history and physical exam page. I don't know if you can see. There you go. So this is what that page looks like and basically it just has like all of the things that you should be asking in your history and when you're going over your review of systems it basically lists all the different symptoms you should be looking for within each system when you're interviewing your patient. It has things like how to write out your progress notes, so that is your soap that you will be writing out on the ward. It has the Glasgow Coma Scale, dermatome maps that you have long forgotten, and just like really and truly a lot of different things in this little reference book. So I just carry this on the ward with me because it is so slim and it fits perfectly into the next thing that I am going to show you, and that is my clipboard. So the clipboard that I have is the White Coats clipboard and I also purchased this on Amazon. And this for sure, I do not go one full day without residents, interns, my classmates. I don't go one day without at least one or two people asking me where I purchased this clipboard. And the reason for that is because it has this very simple but pretty cool feature of folding in half. So why that comes in handy is that usually when you're on the ward, you do not want to be bogged down with anything. Everything that you're carrying around needs to be so small that it either just fits in your pocket or it's just easy for you to carry like this. So I would actually take my patient's notes and stuff on sheets of paper that I would clip in the clip and then as I'm on the ward, I just fold them. <laughs> as I'm on the ward, I just fold them up 
and take them around with me. And like I said, this thing was so small that I would actually just stick it in here like that with all my notes. So I have my notes on the board, my little quick reference, and everything is closed like that, and I'm carrying it around like this. Another cool thing about this is that it also has reference information on it as well, and that is why I actually purchased it. So it has all of the information you, you need for reading EKGs properly. And on the other side, it has some other things that you might want to know, some acid-base information, helpful equations, different things like that, that honestly, you just don't always remember out of your head or when you're first starting on the ward, you just don't even know yet. So my clipboard and my quick reference really helped me on the ward when I was just starting out because honestly, some of these things you just don't know yet. And to me, the reference really helps you get oriented faster because you're not stumbling around trying to figure out what every single thing means you have all of these references to help you well guys that is it I really hope this video serves to get you prepared to go on the ward for the first time if it has please give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below if you know anyone else who is starting clinicals please feel free to share this video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell as well so you can be notified when I post another video but thank you guys so much for watching as always I really appreciate it and hopefully I'll see you in my next video bye